What's going on, Agent Nation? It is Frank Bernardo, and I am going to show you how to make a million dollar database. So there's three steps. It's not super complicated. Where it gets super complicated is when you start adding extra stuff that's unnecessary. So we're going to break this down to the most simplistic version that I can. Here, step one. is the number of people in your database. So as I've said, the average person knows about 300 people. So if you have 300 people in here, you are going to be on your way to a millionaire database, but that doesn't mean you have a millionaire database with 300 people. It really depends on a lot of factors, which you've gone into um, more detail in another video. But we have to start with the amount of people in your database. So I have my cheat sheet right here. Um, number two is your quality. Quality of quality of touches. Because here you're going to have a number of people in your database, and you're going to talk to them frequently and aggressively. So the quality of those touches is what's really going to be key. If you just mass email bomb everybody, the quality is going to be low. So we want to have quality of touches here. And the third step, the third step, make sure I get it right. Quantity of touches. So we have the number of people in your database, the quality of the communication to the number of people in the database, and then the quantity. How many times are you talking to those people? So these three things, and after that, all you need to do is prospect. Talk to people put them in your database. Talk to people, put them in your database. This doesn't matter if you're cold calling, if you're door knocking, sphere of influence, whatever. The number of people in your database is going to determine where you're at, and this is for today. So if you want to have a millionaire database, so the way you have a millionaire database, it comes back here number of people in your database. So depending on your area, what's the average sale price in your area? How many people are in your database? And then it goes back to here, back to here. So in my area, it's if you have 300 people in your database and you know, we all know the math, 6% of everybody you know is going to buy, sell, or um, refer business out when it comes to real estate. So that's 18. And the average uh, home price in my area is a million. We can just do the math there based on 2.5% commission. It's going to be very close. So now this is the thing. If you only have a little piece of this, a little piece of this, and you don't have very many people in here, you can still get to a millionaire database. That can still happen but you're going to have to have a really high number here and it's going to take more time. Your time horizon is going to grow if your quality and your quantity of touches and your number is down. If all of these numbers are low, then your time and your number in database is going to be longer. It's a time horizon situation. So what you want to do is you want to quality touches. What's a quality touch? A quality touch is where you have a personal one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody. Everything you do after that is going to have more value. So it's very, very, very important that you speak to people and then follow up aggressively. And my suggestion is 40 plus annually. Yes, that says annually. 40 plus annual, annually per person. That's 
frequently, that's aggressively, and you start it all out with a phone call and you continue to talk to them on a monthly basis as much as you need to talk to them based on the conversations that you're having. So this, you will get to a millionaire database in no time, but it has to be the number one thing Consistent, that does not say croissant. That says consistent. You have to be consistent in this behavior. Otherwise, that will never happen. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you have a fantastic day.